Hello everyone, Chaos Vantage 3.0 comes with a redesigned UI, new welcome screen, resizable panels, and a dedicated toolbar with the most essential features. The first major feature is support for USD files. I'm going to drag and drop a model. That's a model of a cat. There we go. And you can see the hierarchy and the lights have been imported. So I'm going to disable the light and adjust the position of the cat. I'm going to copy the image buffer by pressing Ctrl C and paste that in Photoshop. In Vantage, I'm going to use the new selection mask mode to isolate only the selected object. In this case, it's the cat. I'm going to press Ctrl C again and use that to apply color corrections only to the selected layer. In this case, curves. Let's apply a blur filter on the background for more selective color corrections. This provides great flexibility for experiments and quick iterations. I'm going to delete this object. And I'm going to move to the next major feature, which is support for Material X shaders. I have downloaded a couple of those from the AMD GPU Material X library, namely the car paint and the cobblestone, and assigned those here. Looking at the material editor in 3ds Max, we can see the Material X shader applied. Another new shading feature is the support for the V-Ray two-sided texture. I'm going to take a look at this camera and I'm going to use the new material picker button to select the material. If I double click, the material editor is going to pop up and I will be able to both preview and edit the material. I can change various parameters such as colors, textures, uh, apply different shading networks, texture mapping and UV randomizers as well. In this case, I'm editing the two sides of the V-Ray two-sided texture. For better organization, there is a filter for newly created or edited materials in Vantage, and there is also the ability to revert the changes. We've also extended the support for the multi-sub texture using the probabilities for the individual textures, as can be seen from the material editor here. Within the new material editor, we can also add different textures within existing shading networks. I'm going to wrap this texture in a color correction allowing me to iterate much faster directly with Advantage. And the next major feature is support for Gaussian splats. This uh, island here is a Gaussian splat. You can see the splats if I zoom in. And this is a regular object that can be transformed and be used as a very quick way to populate your scene or background with trained Gaussian splats. We also added support for the new clustering option in Chaos Scatter. You can generate them directly in Vantage and adjusting the parameters, alter the patterns. In this case, I'm changing the size and diversity to get different type of effects. With the material editor, you can not only create new materials from here, but you can also use the newly added Cosmos option to generate AI materials. I'm going to do that. And I'm using the texture of grass and fallen leaves, selecting the pattern, and generating the material. This is a very quick and hassle-free way to generate new materials that you can't find in Cosmos. Let's import it and assign it to the pavement. Now the pattern is rather large, so I'm going to tile it up to make it smaller. I can also adjust the rest of the parameters to my liking. And I'm going to lower the glossiness. Another highly requested feature was the ability to offset in position animated objects like this boat here. Uh, it has animation and I will change its position so it better fits my composition. The animation will be played back with offset from there. You can probably see the clouds on top of the trees and I'm going to zoom in on the fireplace as well. Both are using volumetric caches simulated in Phoenix and are rendered now in Vantage in real time. Here are the clouds. I can change their parameters, like changing the color or their density. Supported file formats are the Phoenix cache Aura files, but also the open VDB file format. Being transformable objects, this allows you to have greater flexibility and better quality in your real-time experiences. 
And the final feature for this video is going to be the night sky support. It has separate controls for moon, stars and Milky Way. To use it, make sure you select the PRG clear sky and let's have a look at the parameters. I can adjust separately the moon, the stars and the Milky Way. And there are different artistic parameters to create exactly the look you're going for. Adjusting the illumination of the moon also affects the scene. You can also exaggerate the moon's size, illumination and so on. The stars is located in the sky texture and there are various parameters to make them more pronounced or with more variation. You can now try all the exciting features in Chaos Vantage 3. Thanks for watching and take care.